Hi, I'm Philip Anahosa with Wallhead Systems or WSI. Today we're going to show you how to retrofit your 3302 slow gear ratchet paw style rotator with a one way bearing. First, you want to be sure that you take out the old ring from underneath the cap. We've already done it for time. Pull your cap off. We're going to take off our actuator body. Our ratchet pulse came out with our actuator body. Our bearing would still be on there because you'll have a snap ring that you'll take off first and then the bearing would come off in your actuator arm. And then there's actually a second snap ring that we took off also because of time. We'll take off the backstop nut. On this one, our ratchet paws and our bearing actually came out together, so we didn't have to take them off separately. We need to pull out our worm gear. And then our worm drive. Now, you'll be getting a kit, and in your kit, you'll get a new worm drive two new snap rings. We get a backstop nut with a one-way bearing and I've already installed this one-way bearing. Um, it has to go in a certain direction for it to work. On your backstop nut there's an arrow and you'll be able to see it. There's your actuator body. It will also have a one-way bearing. On this one though you will not see the arrow. It is back against the actuator body when it's installed. So we're going to do our worm drive first. Snap rings have to come in from this side here with the grooves for them. Slide them on. We're going to put one snap ring on there. Our actuator arm, our bearing, and then our second snap ring. Now, we're going to put our actuator body on. We're going to make sure that our grooves are lined up with our key. And the same when you go to put it on here. Make sure the key is installed right over the groove. And you install our backstop nut, lining up your key with the groove. Now we have to install our arm gear again. It is marked top, so we want to make sure that we put it in the right direction. Our O-ring would come slid up so we can set our cap on and pop it on. Now, when doing this, you want to make sure, according to your manufacturing specs, that you grease the body enough and make sure you have enough grease here for your worm drive. Now we need to test it. 
must have weight on it for it to test. And as we can see, my arm is turning. So we've successively retrofitted your 3302 slow gear ratchet style rod rotator to a 4033 with a one-way bearing.